Hello, how you all doing, Mike Bradley? I hope you are doing well as always. I wasn't going to do a talking bit in this, actually. I was just going to play the guitar and do It's a Thing. <laughs> it's a PRS parlor thing. But um, I thought I'd just quickly chat to you about it. This is a cool little guitar. This is the new PRS parlor. And um, I'm really, uh, to talk 60s slang, I'm really digging it, man. Uh, it's a cute little guitar. I mean, I'm not going to go into specs because you can read a spec sheet. I'll put a link in the description box if you want to read it, but it's a mahogany body. It's a mahogany neck. It's got a bone nut. It's got 20 frets, 15, 17, 20 frets. Uh, ebony fingerboard. Um, what I like about it is, first of all, it's a cute little guitar, you know? And I've been, uh, since I got sent this to uh, check out for a bit, I've been, uh, you know, sitting on the sofa, just playing, just in, and a lot of times without a pick. And just uh, getting that kind of uh, bluesy, bluesy thing, you know, uh, Delta bluesy, I don't know what you can call it, you know. But, um, but could it's such a cute little guitar and it's small, you know, the parlor, there's, there's small body guitars. So I've just been kind of sitting on the sofa, just noodling away at it, which is always a good thing if a guitar makes you play and could it's, you know, the more time you get to play the guitar, the better you're going to get and the more inspired you get, you know. Um, so, uh, and what the big thing what I really like, I should really talk about, is the neck. I really, really, really like this neck. It it kind of feels like, um, almost like an electric guitar neck, you know. Think, um, dare I say it, Les Paul kind of, you know, shape kind of feel. Um, you know, I guess like the 594 neck shape. Um, I, I don't know. I've only played a 594 once before, I think, you know, but it's, it's not, you know, super, super chunky, like a, a 58 or 59 Les Paul or something, but, um, it's got a nice, nice grip to it. Um, and I like it. I really like, you know, <laughs> It just makes me want to do that. Now, in case you wanted to hear what it sounds like, you know, with a pick and strums. It's all cool. Um, for me, when like as soon as I took it out of the box, I just naturally played it without a pick. And I think that like just I prefer the tone of it there. It just, it seems to uh, want to be played finger style, you know? Um, or, you no, know, when you're strumming even, not, no, the pick kind of. It works. For me, I like that kind of finger style. I did, um, I did a, a live stream a couple of weeks ago. If you're a regular viewer, you may have seen it. And uh, someone left a comment, I remember, uh, saying that guitar calls out for blues, you know, and I couldn't agree more of them. Sorry, I've completely forgotten your name if you're watching this now, but I couldn't uh, agree with you more. Um, 
It really is. It's that kind of bluesy thing. And when I sit on the sofa, a lot of times I kind of play that kind of bluesy stuff or try and play that bluesy stuff, you know. So, um, yeah, I just thought I'd just have a little chat with you <laughs> and say my uh, opinions on this cool little guitar. The PRS Parlor SE. And this is the Tonner. I think that's how you pronounce it. T-O-N-A-R-E. Tonner. Um, this was made January 2020. Look at that. But uh, it's cool. Um, nice kind of satin feel. Um, also, I'm not using a pick as much because I'm worried about scratching it. <laughs> as it's not mine, you know. I don't mind my guitars getting scratched, but when they're my guitars. But uh, but no, check one out. When you're uh, at your local guitar shop, when we can go in there again. Hopefully, when you're by the time watching this, you can. And... Um, yeah, check one out. I just I just naturally want to do all that. You know. song is from Clapton's Unplugged. Anyway, check one out. These are cool. I really like it. I'm going to go back and just start trying to do more blue stuff. God bless. See you soon. Mike Brady signing out. Bye. Fade it away.